today we're gonna work on something different. We're gonna work on this shop vac that I bought probably five, six, seven years ago. And uh, it's starting to make quite a bit of noise when it, when it runs. I'm thinking it's the bearing, the motor bearing that's shot. And uh, we're gonna take it apart and see if it is the wheel bearing. So let's get to it. I'm just gonna plug it in. And let's let's hear it. Here it goes. Pretty noisy. So uh let's start. Take the filter off. Okay, we're back on the bench and looking around. Looks like we got some Torx bit screws. That's all I see is the screws at the moment. This, well, is, the type of, this is the type of bit right here. Not that focus? I don't know. That's T25. Take off this tool holder. It looks like it's all one piece. It looks like it comes off from the top. Oh! There it goes. Uh, I'm gonna give this one more blow. Alright. Back at the bench. Let's try some light here. I noticed this was loose. There's one screw here. Yeah, I was missing a screw. So far, all the screws are the same size. That looks a little dirty. Uh, one more blow. Not sure if the uh, video video caught that or not, but when I spun it with the air, I could hear something uh, vibrating. I think it's the bearing. I'm not sure if it's this one or if it's that one inside here, but we'll take it apart and, and see. So I think the next step is to take this off. Oh, that was easy. There you go. Hear that? Oh. Man, there's dust everywhere. I think that's a Phillips. Spacer. Don't lose that. Okay. There's a. Looks like there's a clamp holding this wire down. There's two screws in there. I'm not sure if you can see that or not, but there's two screws in there. We'll take those off. So when the motor comes off, the wire will come with it. All right. Okay, cool. These are just spade connectors in here. I just can pull those off. And uh, the ground wire, pull that off, and then this whole top will come off. Ground. All right. Now, now I'll take 
this this section off. Fill up the screws. Okay. Aha. That's the inside. Ah, dude, I'm gonna have to blow this out <laughs> again. Okay, here it is. Um, tell you the truth, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure where, if it's this bearing or that bearing, but we're gonna take it apart anyway. We're gonna have to move the brushes away from the stator. Just uh, don't know exactly how yet. There's a hole right here. Pretty sure that's for uh, when you move the when you slide the brush away. This you put something in there to hold the brush away from the stator or armature or whatever you want to call it. So we use it like something like this, a little point to it. Just try to just grab it with the wire meets the brush and use that to pull up on the uh, brush and just stick something in this hole to hold it. So now I can take I can take these screws out, out and then the whole thing should come out. that I oh, see that's dirty that's uh that's just a bushing so uh, it's not a bearing and this should slide out a little persuasion this is a plastic end there okay there you go. So that's the inside of it. Now, let's see what this bearing feels like. <laughs> feels pretty good. <laughs> this bearing is a 608D. So, I guess I'll go on Amazon. Oh, I may have one, but uh, go on Amazon and see if there's one there. See if I can find one. Would you believe it? I actually had something close, or yeah, very close. This is a 608Z. The only difference between. Um, the Z and the D is this rubber seal. This one's rubber and that one's steel. 11 sixteenths. Right, there it goes. I mean, that one feels pretty good. <laughs> if you ask me. Well, I don't know if you can see it or see that or not, but uh, I have to slide the new one up to that point right there. There's a little tab on the shaft, so I'm gonna have to tap that new one all the way to that point. I have to get a little socket that fits that perfectly. Good. So 
just going to tap that on there. Say this helps focus, but I don't know. There it is. Something tells me that this is worn out. Just, just a little bit of play in there. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grease that up. Grease that up and oil it, put it back together. Moment of truth. Make sure the exhaust is pointing away from you. Because I'm sure there will be something, some dust in there. Here it goes. That's how you fix a noisy uh, shop back. <laughs> Thanks for watching.